Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our August 2022 tarot reading. And this is going to be for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message and share with my viewers the highest good of all. And you probably heard that jumping card, which is right here. We're going to take that for you because Spirit wants us to pay attention to that message. For the middle of the month, I'm going to take a card from the center. And the end of the month, I'm going to take a card from the bottom. Okay, and let's see what we have here. I'm a Gemini, so I'm excited about this too. And the beginning of the month, we had the Ace of Wands. Wow. Aces are the beginning of something. Okay, the Ace of Wands is a very fiery energy at the beginning of the month. Okay, some type of exciting idea may come to mind in the beginning of August, Gemini. This may be for some of you a new job or a new business. Um, it could possibly be a whole new life for you. Um, this is the beginning of a blessing from the universe. So if you are a Gemini like me that has been through a lot of very rough, rough lessons in the last three years, okay, this is a positive sign for us that whatever we have gone through, okay, has allowed us to gain the wisdom and the knowledge we need to begin a brand new life for ourselves. Maybe some people that weren't meant to be in our life have fallen away and this is the beginning of a new peaceful, wonderful, successful life for you. Whatever it is, there's creative energy in the very beginning of this month. And, you know, you're blossoming. You're absolutely blossoming in the beginning of this month. And then in the middle of the month, we have the Two of Swords. Okay, so Two of Swords, the Swords are, are mental energy. Okay, and with these two of swords here, you may be feeling in the beginning of the month like you're at a stalemate or a deadlock, like these two that are locking swords. Okay, and it might not be with another person. This may be internally with yourself that you're at a deadlock and you're confused and, and maybe you need to make some type of a decision that's coming up in the middle of the month and you just don't know which way to turn. Um, you might try a new approach to look at the situation differently. Okay, um, you feel like you're unable to move one way or the other due to feeling, you know, very confused. So you need to look at the situation logically and try a new approach to break this deadlock. And if anyone could think of things and consider things logically, it's the Geminis. Okay, I'm a very logical thinker. I do not allow my emotions to rule my decisions. I think about everything based on facts and logic. So this should be a piece of cake for you, Gemini. So even if you may be feeling confused in the middle of the month, try to look at it from different angles. Okay. Try a new approach. There's always something that could be done. So, you know, whatever decision you make, you know, is going to be part of your destiny. So choose wisely, do your homework, check up on things before you decide. And then at the end of the month, you have the nine of pentacles. Oh my goodness. This is a beautiful month for you. This is a beautiful, beautiful card. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is financial and material success through your own hard work and effort. This isn't material success and, and money coming in uh, because you won the lottery. <laughs> Anybody could go and buy a ticket and that's luck. Okay, and it's not because, you know, you were, you know, just handed some money by someone, inherited some money. Uh, this is because you have worked hard. You have done whatever it took to become the person that you are. This is a card where someone has arrived, okay? And you're going to be surrounded by abundance, material security at the end of the month because of your own hard work and your own effort, okay? This is a, a card of financial independence, okay? This may be just one person here. In the card, you know, they're alone, but they're not lonely. They're surrounded by these gold and pentacles, okay? And they're relaxing. It looks like it's a, a little hot tub there outside in the, in the woods. Um, she's chilling. She's relaxing. And I don't consider these gender specific. This could be a man or it could be a woman. But whatever is going on at the end of the month, you're going to be feeling very, very satisfied. You've been working very hard and moving in the right direction towards your goals and this card is going to bring some type of a reward for your efforts at the end of the month, Gemini. 
What a beautiful, beautiful reading. If you've enjoyed this reading, please like it by giving it a thumbs up, share it, and above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.